Mr. Bones. I'd buy that for a dollar. What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and welcome back to another Dollar Tree Theater. And what we're talking about is 2005's Shark Man, aka Hammerhead, which is on this Mega Shark 8 film collection. It is titled Shark Man on there, but Hammerhead everywhere else on IMDb and on other DVD arts I've seen. Directed by Michael O'Blowitz, which he blew it. This movie's not very good, and that's a funny last name. Followed by, written by Boaz Davidson and Kenneth McBadish, and this film is Badish. Uh, Monty Featherstone, funny that it took three people to write such a bad movie. Uh, starring William Forsyth as Tom. Jeffrey Combs as Dr. King, Hunter Tylo as Amelia, and Arthur Roberts as Feather. A scientist tries to save his son from cancer, but his experiments turn him into a shark man instead. A group from a pharmaceutical corporation are sent to the Mad Doctor's Island to investigate his activities. And the fun ensues there. So in this movie you have a group of people. Tom, Amelia, Jane, Vetter, and Katie, who go to this island to investigate the doings of the evil Dr. King, played by Jeffrey Combs, who is Dr. Herbert West from Reanimator, who also plays a crazy scientist type dude in From Beyond, playing the same type of character over here in this movie, a crazy scientist doing crazy experiments with sharks these people they go into this uh, like auditorium type little or like a little office and he's talking to him um, doing a presentation and he's like have you ever heard on record of a shark having cancer you haven't and so I've got this great idea of mixing shark cells with humans to cure cancer because apparently his son got cancer in the past and he tried to cure him with shark cells and instead of curing him I guess supposedly it got rid of the cancer but it turned him into a shark man half shark half man which reminds me a lot of Peter Benchley's Creature which I remember being a lot better this movie is low budget made for sci-fi channel bad editing subpar acting bad effects, the monsters CGI'd real bad, some parts he looks cool but mostly he doesn't and uh, this movie just could not keep my attention, it's not very good. Most interesting was the actors, uh, Dr. Herbert West, William Forsyth, which you see him, he is in a uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween offering to crawl across the table and skull fuck Deborah Myers. And this actor, Hunter Tylo, playing Amelia, which I have never heard of before this movie, but she is very pretty. And so I looked on her IMDb, that's what caught my attention of this movie is her. She's done a lot of soap operas and shit, but I see her first credit is she was in 1984's The Initiation, which just makes me want to watch that. My luck, she'll have a tiny part. She plays someone named Allison, but I've never seen the movie. I know I want to. But yeah, this movie is not very good. Could not keep my attention. And in conclusion, I say check it out if you want. If anything I said sounds interesting and if the pictures look cool, if you like low budget shark and creature features, I did not enjoy it, but I'm not one to say this sucks, don't watch it, because it's always best to check out a movie for yourself and see if you like it instead of going off other people's words. And that's what I watched. Peace.